This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Skids with Michaela and RC. Um, for those of you who, in Manila who are wondering where I got this figure, uh, this set, I got it uh, from Art Toys. Uh, Art Toys is located at second floor of V Mall, Green Hill, San Juan. Okay, I love this set. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm I, I probably enjoy this set more than the Human Alliance Bumblebee. I mean, the Human Alliance Bumblebee is great, but this one I, I love. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the twins. Not a big fan, but I love the toys that were uh, created for the twins. And by far, uh, this is the best skids figure out there. More than the Robot Replicas, FAB, or the Deluxe Skid skids or even I think even the upcoming legends class skids this is the best skids figure you can get uh, if you haven't picked up skids yet this the deluxe class or the FAB uh, and 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 you have trouble looking for him you, you might want to wait for this one and if, if you just want one skids figure this is the skids figure you have to get the RC figure eh, needs a lot of work I mean it's just an add-on I consider it an accessory to the figure, but not not really. It's like half a figure, but it's workable. And the Michaela figure is is just great. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, uh, let's begin first with Michaela. Uh, she's in a permanent uh, driving position. Her hands are in a permanent driving position. Her legs have this share the same articulation as Sam's. Uh, it has head rotation. Uh, the arms just go in and out, forward and backward, and the wrists stay this way. It's got waist, well, upper waist articulation. And uh, the outfit she's wearing is very uh, true to the Revenge of the Fallen outfit she, she wore when they met with Jetfire towards the end of the film. So very nice. Uh, she's wearing boots. Very nice. Her expression is a lot better than Sam's expression. So very nice so we'll set her aside for now let's go to RC very good alt mode looks more like uh, Chromia actually the uh, Suzuki B, B King uh, motorbike uh, more than a Ducati but you know they had to give uh, Michaela a, a pink or red motorbike but but these exhaust pipes make it look more like a Suzuki anyway uh, everything tabs in nicely in in this mode except for this top tab which is too big for the slot transform RC just unpeg everything unpeg here and here uh, oh. fold out the head transforms like a legends class more than a scout class uh, and Michaela fell We'll get her later. See, even the the body sculpt is more like Chromia because RC has a, a contorted spine and cr and Chromia has these double bars. So the head, I don't know, could go either way, but looks a lot like Chromia, especially with a big gun. RC doesn't have a big gun; she has a blade, and well, she she could have a gun if you put the sidecar on it, but the gun is RC's is Chromia's gun see even the license plate is there uh, very sort of difficult to balance her because of the big the, the offset center of gravity but you, you can balance her this way okay so let's put her aside not too bad not too bad of a figure it's it's like I said it's an accessory now let's go to the main course skids just unbelievable I mean I, as, as I said in my earlier reviews, I'm not a big fan of, 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 of the twins, but I love the toys that Hasbro has come up with uh, to represent the twins. This is a very, very amazing skids figure. I mean, the back cable is managed properly. He even has wings now. Um, and his feet are a lot bigger. Articulation-wise, as you can see in this pose, he is very articulated. You just need to manage a little bit of the clearance issues here, but if you can manage some of the kibble, he's just great. A uh, little bit of waist articulation and head swivel. Um, the legs are very articulate, uh, forward and backward, in and out. He even has a mini hinge here that make the leg 
move a little bit in and out some more double jointed knees uh, swivel uh, lower leg swivel and and the feet they can rotate side to side which will allow you to, to give him uh, you know a, a wide range of poses because of the swiveling uh, toes and heel it's a very nice arms they go in and out they have ragged joints that go forward and backward uh, they fold inward but there is another joint here that will make you move uh, the lower arm forward and backward so I guess that more than makes up for that and a swivel joint right here so let me just stand him up so you can appreciate the figure better okay it's a very nice very nice skids figure now like the bumblebee human lines figure you can mount uh, Michaela uh, on skids he's got seats on his arms and a, a stand on the back which you, you can place Michaela to man the guns uh, if you put Michaela here uh, you can have her control um, Oh yeah, there's that huge peg hole right there. Just at the back. Very obvious peg hole. You can have her mount the gun that fires uh, a missile. So, uh, if you mount her here, she just sits there and does nothing. And if you mount her at the back, she can, ma she can man the Gatling gun. Which she can barely reach. Like so. It's a very interesting gimmicks. I mean... Human Alliance, you know, not the most exciting gimmicks of all, but it's it, it's nice to have some human interaction with the robots. Okay, uh, only this hand is posable because of transformation. This one doesn't move. Okay, so very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, one last look at uh, Skids before we get him into his uh, alt mode. So, very nice. Um, I find this uh, Human Alliance figure a lot easier to transform than the Bumblebee Human Alliance figure. And we'll see later why. So, to transform him, uh, prepare the arms. Uh, yep. Swivel the seats. Okay. Fold the arms upward. Swivel the seats. Okay. And then detach the waist, like so. Uh, fold the cannon. And then fold the chest piece. Okay. And then unhook the back piece. And then rotate. Okay, and form the roof. Now prepare the legs. Uh, pair the legs. All you have to do is fold in the toes, the feet, like so. Fold in the heels, okay, and then uh, just fold it up like so, okay, and fold it down. Okay, now at this point, you want to form the shell of the car. Uh, you do so by uh, wait, folding his head down and forming the hood and front bumper first. Once you can do, once you get to do this. You're all set. Uh -huh. Like so. Very easy. Uh, let me just fix it. Okay. 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 And then what you want to do is just fold the fold the feet this way. Okay, there you go. Okay, at this point, I'm going to stop this video because I'm running out of time, and we will continue in part two. Okay?